All right, I just went ahead and installed brand new brakes on the 67 Camaro. Now, what we got here, this is a dual master cylinder. I'm sorry, this is a dual caliper. Dual piston caliper, that means that there's a piston on the top, there's a piston on the bottom. If you come over here, you can see it. If you look at the bottom of the caliper, there's a bleeder screw there. And if we come up to the top, there's another one right there on the top. This is a dual piston caliper. Now there is some calipers that are four piston calipers and what you would have, you'd have a bleeder screw here, you'd have one here, you'd have one over here, and you'd have one over here. And a lot of people don't understand that what these are for. Now most people think that the reason that there's two bleeder screws is this is a universal caliper, meaning this could be a left or a right. And normally when you bleed your brakes or when you put brand new brakes on your car, whichever you're going to do, normally 99% of the time most people only bleed the top screw because they think the bottom one is nothing because it might be a universal caliper. So what happens is when they go to use their brakes, only one piston is actually working, not two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fill up the pistons for a brand new bleed job. And then I'm going to show you actually how to bleed a dual piston caliper. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Just to give you an idea, the rear brake system on this is disc brakes, but this is a single piston caliper, and you can see that right here. Here's the piston right in the center, and there's only one bleeder screw, which is at the top. So this is not a universal uh, caliper. This is a left and a right, all right? When you only see one screw on the top, and you don't see one on the bottom, that means it is not a universal caliper, and is a proprietary caliper, meaning this would be our left, and then of course on the other side is a right. So since these are brand new brakes that I just installed on this vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and start by filling the brake lines and the pistons of the caliper itself. And the tool that we're going to use is this tool right here. This is a giant syringe. You can see I got my brake fluid in here. I'm going to go ahead and fill that up. I just filled it up with fluid. I got a very tight piece of vacuum hose on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the lower piston first. You always want to do the one that is the farthest away from the master cylinder. All right, so I got many of the body shop girls standing here. Now what she's going to do is she is going to be watching the master cylinder and she's going to let me know when fluid actually comes through. Now one thing about doing this, if you go too fast, it's going to squirt fluid up in the air like that and then it's going to fall and get all over your car. So you got to do it really slow and Minnie should have a rag in her hand to uh, protect so it doesn't fly. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take off the protective rubber nipple on the caliper. And you want to try to keep these, all right? I'm going to go ahead and get the top one off as well. Now, I'm using DOT.4 brake fluid here. I do not recommend to use uh, synthetic brake fluid on a classic car 
or a brake conversion. Synthetic brake fluid is made for brand new cars, so stay away from synthetic. You see that I got a box below to catch everything that I need if it, so it doesn't drip all over my floor. I don't want grease and slime all over my floor, so we do have a protection there. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to loosen the bottom piston, the bleeder screw on the bottom piston, just like that. And then I'm going to hook my rubber hose to the piston. And then I'm going to go ahead and proceed. Hold on, what's going on? Well, you did it too much and it's I'm barely it pushing it. Is it filling up? Yeah. You can see the fluid coming in. So we have now filled our piston up with fluid. You can see it pouring out. And that's good because we actually took all the air bubbles out of it. And then what I'll do now is I will go ahead and proceed to do the top one the exact same way. You always want to do the farthest one away from the master cylinder first. So I'm going to go ahead and finish bleeding out the top piston and Minnie's up there watching it. How does it look? It's coming through. I'm barely coming pushing. Through. Okay, so everything's coming through there? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that and then I'll tighten that up. So now what we've done is we filled our pistons in our dual piston caliper full. Now what we need to do is we need to bleed them. So before we do that, we need to put brake fluid in the master cylinder. So I'm going to take my DOT.4 and this is a dual master cylinder. We got the rear here, front here, and this is a four wheel disc brake system. Go ahead and put the lid on it, just like that. And now we're ready to go ahead and bleed the brakes. All right, so if we want to go ahead and wipe our caliper off, make sure that there's no brake fluid leaking on it from filling up the pistons, and make sure that it's clean, just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start by bleeding the lower piston first. So we got our master cylinder full. We went ahead and filled our pistons up. Now we need to get the air out, which I don't think we're going to really have a problem with that. But I think there's going to still be a little air once Minnie goes ahead and starts pumping the brakes. Go ahead and pump them. How do the brakes feel in there? Hard. Okay. Are they going to the floor or no? No. Okay. They're pumping up. All right. Pump them up. All right. You got it? All right, hold on to the brake. What I got here, I got a rubber hose. I'm going to go ahead and connect that to... Okay, hold on, we got a leak. I got to see where it's leaking. Hold it right there. Yeah, I see where it's leaking. Okay, go ahead and uh, hang on. Hold or let go? Well, I got to see where it's leaking. No, I'm talking about me, the brake. Yeah, let... Let go of the brake for a minute. I'll bet it's leaking on that fucking fitting. Right there. So now that we're ready to go ahead and bleed the brakes, we're going to start with the farthest one away from the master cylinder. And I say that in that situation because if this was a four piston caliper, then we would start with the one over here first, then we would go over here to this one, then cross over to this one, and then up to that one. So this is a dual cylinder, so we're going to start with the bottom one first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen it up before Minnie does anything. Alright, and then I'm going to barely tighten it. 
and then I got another hose right here. I'm going to go ahead and connect that. And this is the way I do it because I don't want brake fluid all over my floor. And it's just a lot easier for me to, if I can get this on here, which I know it'll go on there. It's just going to be a bear to do. There it goes. All right, come on. Okay. So we got a rubber hose there. And now what Minnie's going to do is she's going to go ahead and pump the brakes up. If you can pump them up, I'd appreciate it. Okay, we get about five or six good pumps on it. And you can hold it now. Now remember, we've already filled our cylinders. We, we started down here with our syringe. That's what you do. You start with your syringe and you fill up your cylinder. And we should have minor... Um, we should have minor... Uh, air coming out of this and as you can see I got a cup here and I got my hose in the cup are you holding that brake okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this and there was no air in the line at all so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that up you can let off the brake now so there was no air at all in that so now what we'll do we'll go ahead and now that that's done we're gonna go ahead and move up to the top we're going to go ahead and don't do anything yet. Loosen it and then tighten it back. Snug it down. And now we'll go ahead and do the top. And the same should go for this. There shouldn't be any air in the line since we went ahead and filled up the brakes. How do the brakes feel when you're pushing them? Okay, hold it. Okay, go ahead and pump it. Okay, if you want to, uh, hang on a minute, let me get a hold of this. Okay, are you ready? Pump it up. Okay, if you want to hold it right there, I'm going to go ahead and loosen it. Hold on, we just lost our hose. Hold on one second, let me get my bleeder hose back on here. These nipples are a little bit bigger than normal. Okay, there. All right, you ready? Okay, let's see what happens. Is it doing anything? Is it going down? Okay, hang on. Okay, we got air in this one. All right, go ahead, pump it up again. So this is what you do. You do the farthest one away first, then you do the closer one. Don't always suspect that this is just a universal caliper and you can put it on either side and then just bleed them from the top. If you bleed it from the top, your brakes will never work properly. All right, you ready? Okay, hold on to it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and bleed this one more time. Go ahead. Okay, hold it. All right, and then I'm going to do it slow this time. And we don't have any air at all. Tell me when it's to the floor. Okay, hold it. Okay. All right. So if you look in the cup there, you can see there was a lot of air bubbles in the top one. The bottom one did not have any air at all. So that's basically how you do that. Um, you want to keep your eye on the fluid. Make sure that you don't run out of brake fluid in your master cylinder. And always remember, start with the, uh, the, the piston farthest away from the master cylinder and then work your way around. And this should be a, a good, awesome brake system. Uh, I got to bleed the rest of them. I hope this video helped you out. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, showing you and telling you everything's possible if you get off your ass and learn how to do it. If you sit on your ass and all you want to do is watch videos, and learn how to do it, you will never be able to do it because you're not doing it. Take it easy. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.